Emojis. Yeah, welcome, welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks for the emojis jumping in here. I'm not going to get on to too much alpha quite yet. I'm going to wait for the rest of the folks who joined in the space. But uh, if anyone's interested in chatting or whatnot, feel free to uh, hit me up for a speaker role. I think Brink, I believe, has dinner plans tonight, so I do not believe he'll be joining us today. But uh, I am still recording it, and we'll still get it posted um, where he's been posting them. I still have uh, I still have all my list of things to do to get us a uh, an area for YouTube that's kind of more centralized for us to be able to drop off our uh, our VC chats because I think based off of people wanting them recorded, I think us having a dedicated centralized space for us to have the recordings probably makes the most sense as well. You can throw that up in our official links and what have you. So give just a couple more minutes for folks to join in. And uh, I'm going to pop into pop into general Fox chat for right now, just in case if anyone wants to throw anything in there before we get started here. I do see... I don't think Shepard's in here. We did uh, we did run our treasure hunt today. Well, it's still currently underway. I'm not 100% sure how many people have completed it. I think Foxy Dev had programmed the announcements to be for uh, the first three participants that had completed it. So I'm not sure what the total list is. So as far as actual answers go, I'm not going to give actual answers, but I'll give maybe hints if anyone's interested in any particular one. Um, not super deep hints, but I know we've gotten probably at least 10 people, so we're still looking for another 10 or so to uh, complete the treasure hunt. Once we have our 20 locked up, I know we said we're going to do the raffle next week. Maybe I'll host a, uh, a dedicated treasure hunt space um, sometime th throughout the week, just to kind of give a little bit of, you know, the, the design idea, you know, some of the things that you know, I went through as far as like creating it and such, because I, I genuinely created all 10 of the uh, of the questions that are in there. Um, <laughs> I'll say some lessons learned, because I think if anyone else is interested in doing something like that, there's certainly uh, room for improvement, to say the least. And, um, and I can go through answers and all that fun stuff, because I think, I think there's, you know, a little bit of value in it. I think a lot of people like that uh, Ocean's, you know, style movie where it you know, even if you haven't completed it at the end, you at least have an idea of how it was done. So I think that's kind of fun. Um, but there was a question that popped up. If you had to be a Fox holder to do the treasure hunt, you do. Uh, you do have to be either a TFF or FFF holder in order to see the questions. So it asks you to connect your wallet to our site whenever you go anywhere in it. Um, and that page is no exception to the rule. Um, so... I'll answer that outright. Let's see. Anything else in here? <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that, Alkine. I know you were messaging me uh, <laughs> for a couple of things. There were there were a, a few people that were asking me questions, and I mean, I'm not. I didn't create it to just give out answers or hints. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that. I know I, I really appreciate the uh, the community side of things. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping that people would kind of help each other. I actually popped into um, the voice chat for a bit. I want to say I probably was in there for maybe an hour or so <laughs> just to kind of see what people were like saying to each other and like the competitive side of things to me was, was kind of fun. I mean, I know there's certain... I'll say little circles. I think that people kind of helped each other out to complete, you know, certain um, pieces of it. But uh, but the competition is real, and and that's kind of part of it too, right? I mean, I think a treasure hunt. The idea is, you know, to be able to go through do it successfully yourself, uh, one way or another, or if you need a little bit of help, but not necessarily to kind of work in a in a full group fashion to kind of blow through the thing. And I tried to make it in such a way that you know certain pieces of it had to take a little bit of time. Um, the, the one thing that I'm, I'm really mad, genuinely upset about is the, uh, the jigsaw puzzle. I know Gway that, uh, that Foxy Dev did you dirty. Um, I think he, 
I think what he was looking at was the progression side of things is saved based off of the puzzle. So I think he may have started uh, the other puzzle to a certain degree and, and it kept his cash for it. So when he had refreshed his page, it showed him up to that certain point on that same puzzle because he was already up to that point. But uh, you were going from the the white background to the colored background, and um, two different puzzles, two different caches. So it's going to to refresh it on you. But uh, the thing that I'm mad about with the puzzles, the fact that there's a solve button at the top, and you can legitimately just hit solve. It's like, are you sure you want to solve? And you hit yes, and it does the puzzle for you. And uh, that that was really upsetting to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So like I spent all this time to be like, all right, let me let me create this this code, you know, within a picture, try to make it a little bit difficult, determine the amount of pieces, you know, actually build it a, a couple of times because I wanted to make sure, you know, with this particular puzzle, you have different options for the number of pieces. And I didn't want like a full white line because then you're just kind of taking a piece and seeing if like one white spot connects to another white spot. And that's not the idea to a puzzle. Like if a puzzle was all white, that would drive me mental. So like that wouldn't seem fair to make the puzzle that way. So I tried to make sure that, you know, certain puzzle pieces had, you know, different, uh, you know, elements on it. And that's why I made it colored for like the final version and, and the initial version wasn't swapped out um, that I really, I didn't realize that it wasn't swapped out. So I, I, this, after some people posted about it, um, Foxy dev, I think had, had DM me something about it or someone DM me about it. And I noticed it was the all white copy. So I had um, Foxy dev swap it out to the colored version, um, which I think is, makes it significantly easier, but, um, but also more doable and it makes sense from like a puzzle standpoint. So, um, so that was kind of fun, but again, real, real mad that there's just a solve button and it literally solves the puzzle for you in like 30 seconds when I think my like quickest time for doing the puzzle is like 20 minutes. And I, I wanted it to take time. I, I didn't want someone to be able to blow through our treasure hunt in like five minutes, um, which it didn't. I think, I think the quickest time, which was brink was two hours and maybe two hours and 15 minutes, something like that. So that made me kind of happy. I don't know um, how many folks on here uh, have looked at or been involved with uh, portals at all, but they did a bronze key event. And, um, and I believe, and I, and I know Brink's not in here. He definitely would correct me if I was wrong, but I think someone was able to like run their way through that bronze key event in like 15 minutes. And that was fairly complex. Uh, I was able to get through it myself as well, but um you know, there were a lot of moving parts to it. I thought it was very well done because, you know, the idea with portals is kind of being in that, that 3D metaverse space. So they had, you know, your own little room, you have your little computer, your little Game Boy and things like that. There were all different elements that were involved. And, um, you know, you had to figure out specific codes, whether it's something you were doing, you know, on, on the uh, DOS screen for your computer or if it's something you're like punching in on the keys for your your game boy and then you kind of enter into like this uh real trippy um end game state where you're like jumping through these uh 3d um rooms essentially that have different things to it you know and i kind of i mean i think i actually did that part pretty well i think because i just play video games too much normally um but it was very well done and for someone to do that in 15 minutes like that to me was like hella impressive and um so I'm, I'm at least happier that it took longer than 15 minutes i guess it's a long way for me to say that but uh in twitter spaces you saw the old school way okay good I i'm glad that's what i was hoping people would do i i think some people um, had figured out that that solve button was there so that made me that made me so um uh, but i'll go ahead and jump into you know at least some of the uh the recent announcements that's usually kind of how I like to, to kick off our, our voice chats, um, you know, to kind of give you an idea of what's uh, what, what we've been working on in the backside. I, I know we tend to be fairly uh, transparent about our, our general progress on things, which I think, you know, is very healthy for an NFT project, but ours specifically. Um, so, you know, we kind of gave a little bit more information about our dens, some of the uh, added features that were um, we, we've talked about, I guess, before in some VCs 
but just to kind of give a little bit more um, more for them. So you'll be able to connect, you know, Twitter and Discord. Um, you know, there are other things we're still looking at as far as, as integrating into Dens just to kind of provide more value to it. Um, I think one of the items, yeah, we do mention um, on here. So I just wanted to make sure that I, I didn't kind of give too, too much alpha out, but um, allowing the search for people and dens using some form of like social. So like we kind of have it like earmarked as Fox book where, you know, we're still kind of um, playing around with like the naming side of things. I think that makes it kind of relatable. I think people will kind of understand it versus us kind of creating our own like term for it. Um, so I know some people kind of had asked us if that's like a final name or, if, you know, if there's something that we kind of workshop with it. I think like a lot of the items that we make as far as naming and such goes that we kind of are fairly fluid with it. I think depending on feedback and such, like we're definitely open to, um, you know, feedback from the community as far as like if people think it'd be a good idea for us to name it one thing versus another. Um, so that's just one thing that we kind of like mentioned out there. And then I think one of the cooler parts um, is going to be for Foxy Swaps that you'll be able to basically select an NFT in someone else's den and you can engage them into the swap if you're interested. So, and again, the one thing that's important is that it's not necessarily just for foxes. So there's, we're going to have a, a verified collection set of, of additionally, initially the most popular kind of collections that are out there or collections that people have, have asked us to kind of be in our verified collection set. And, and that will be um, a fluid system as well. So, like, we'll add in sets as we see them fit, um, you know, depending on how the ecosystem works and different projects. There's a chance, too, that we'll remove some. But I think our, our primary focus is to kind of make it um, available for, you know, really any project that people are interested in doing these swaps for. Um, I think there's just a lot of benefit in adding that security side of things if people want to just exchange NFTs um, for one reason or another. So I think that'll be um, I think that'll be pretty awesome from the den side of things by integrating that into Foxy Swap because then we're kind of building in you know our our own metaverse, our own utility within you know our different tools that we have, and that that's ultimately our goal, right? We're we're constantly building because we want to get to, you know, a, a, an ideal ecosystem where people will just want to be, you know, I'll say all the time, obviously people are going to be bouncing around from, from community to community to at least communicate for different things or different projects or mints or what have you. But, um, you know, there've been a lot of folks uh, from, from kind of day one or at least day one, I'll say from our mint side that have been around um, very frequently within um, our project. And I really appreciate that. I think that, you know, really speaks a lot to our project and uh, I look forward to that, you know, in general for, you know, the future of our project. So that kind of brings me down to, um, to the, 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 the Foxy Den side of things too. The one thing that we're kind of working on in the backside right now is what we want the UI to really look like within the Den space. So, since we have both an exterior and interior assignment for our Foxy Dens, we're trying to figure out what like the best layout look is for um, for those different NFTs. So that's just one thing from a graphic side of things. I don't know if we're going to go for like an official vote on it, or if we're going to kind of keep it more on like the mod side just to figure out like what looks clean. But um, but that's one thing that we're currently working on. You know, as we're getting closer and closer to our mint for it, so that's pretty fun. Um, the next thing that we had was we posted out and, and <laughs> Misty is really the one that likes the, uh, the number side of things, uh, for, you know, the, the Foxy Dens, um, or Fox Dens, I'll say, but, uh, we posted out numbers based off of that specific date and time, um, of how many foxes you'd have to own in order to, um, get a, a mint on a Fox Den, um, at, 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 that, at each different tier that we have. So uh, this specific post was from the first. So that was three days ago on Wednesday. So um, at that point in time, if you had nine famous boxes staked, you'd have a chance at getting uh, the highest tier mint. Um, if you have seven famous boxes and one transdimensional famous box, you can get into tier two. 
And then it kind of breaks down from there where uh, tier five, if you have just two famous foxes, you'll be able to get into the mint for tier five. Um, so that, that's kind of one of the things that's really fun about like the numbers from our mint side of things. Uh, you know, it's still fairly attainable um, based off of the current pricing and such for um, for really anyone that isn't currently in our community. This is this is really for anyone that's brand new that either finds our project or maybe they've got, you know, one transdimensional fox, but they're interested in maybe getting a famous fox and they want to get in on dens. Um, so it just gives them an idea of, of what you'd have to have in order to get the, uh, the foxy from your staking to be able to uh, afford a den at that point in time. I see Costa, you've requested, so I'm going to bring you up here at that point in time. We'll see what you have going on. How's it going, Costa? Do you have any, any questions, any thoughts so far? That's why you had requested the speaker. That's the only reason why I brought you up. And you do start off muted, too, by chance, just to let you know. Uh, you hear me? Yeah, sure can. Okay. Uh, uh, first thing, uh, dance look amazing. Thanks. Yeah, I can wait to mint them. Uh, yeah. I just wanna. I have a doubt. Uh, the way the the mint works, it will be like a dodge action, like the people with the most foxy mint first, or like you made your strategy where uh, when you want to mint. Yeah. So so um so the current plan that we have, so we have the five different tiers. And it's, it's basically set up where whatever the remaining supply is from the previous tier rolls into the next tier. So um, so the highest tier, uh, let me just double check. I believe it's 15,000 Foxy. I know we pushed it out. Uh, 15,000 Foxy. Yeah, so, so anyone that wants to mint um, that has 15,000 Foxy, you know, if you want to kind of guarantee yourself at getting a den at that price, um, you can buy uh, one of the tier one foxes. So we'll have like the different tiers open for 20 minutes at a time until the last one opens. And then it will just remain open at the 3000 foxy for the very last tier. So, so technically, um, you know, it's, it's not that if when we open it up at, at 1600 um, on here, if you have 15,000, you could, if you have 15,000 times 3,000, you can buy the whole supply at, at that price. You can only buy up to 600 for each different allocation that we have. Um, and, and it's in the, what's called a reverse bonding curve. Some, some projects have done it the opposite direction for mints. Um, we, based off of just general feedback that we've gotten some from some people, where um, you know some people that have uh, a lot of foxes that are staked that are interested in getting into the mint, you know, don't necessarily want to miss out if they have a lot of Foxy and, you know, the mint kind of comes at that, that lower price for the whole supply. And, you know, there's some way that someone can kind of game the system. So that's why we did the reverse bonding curve method for this. But, um, but at the end of the day, there still will at bare minimum be 600 dens available at the cheapest price. So Dependent on how people um, save their funds as they're going through and buying the dens, that will just kind of determine, you know, how quickly people may or may not be able to get dens um, at the cheapest price. And, um, and and we will have this isn't the only utility for Foxy. I mean, outside of Foxy Swap, we're having an auction site that we'll be bringing up and a few other things. I mean, just in the near future and then in the distant future, there's going to be you know a ton more utility that we're going to just build in. To our ecosystem since um, obviously that's a, a big thing for us to have the foxy token nice perfect thank you yeah 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 you're welcome thanks for the question i'm, I'm just going to drop you down and if you want to ask another question at a different time feel feel free to request again thank you all right nope thank you i appreciate the uh, appreciate the question so um so yeah so that that's the different uh, amount of foxes or, or TFFs you'd have to have um, in order to uh, in order to, to buy into uh, to dens. Um, you know, you can also kind of translate uh, one FFF to four TFFs. So in any of those um, categories, if you just multiply it out by four and you just add them onto the TFF category. So if you have 36 TFFs as an example, um, that'll get you into tier one and then tier five would be eight TFFs. So just in case if anyone was kind of curious, it's not just folks with famous foxes that earn Foxy. 
you can still earn it with TFFs as well. Um, and what we did too is we uh, we actually we opened up this week, uh, starting as of yesterday, um, different raids uh, to, to kind of poke out and um, you know push VR community. I know we've only done a few so far. Um, but we're definitely interested if people find uh, posts that they see on Twitter um, or, or anything where people are, you know, kind of looking around for projects or asking about communities and such. Feel free to grab it, you know, throw it in the Fox Raids Twitter section. And uh, I, I've made it so everyone can tag at Raid Foxes. Um, there's a high probability that we'll grab, you know, certain ones that, that seem... Uh, like we should get more engagement from them and probably add them into our uh, Twitter section up top and still do pings for that as well. So just kind of keep an eye out for uh, general raid activities that we're planning on uh, kind of bolstering up a bit this week, essentially to kind of do a little bit of a test from the raid Fox side of things. And uh, in the future, we might do a uh, larger, um, social engagement pieces with that adding everyone versus adding just raid foxes just to try and improve some of the uh, the branding side of things or the or the the awareness if you will um, back out to the uh, to the Twitter the Twitter community so just wanted to kind of put that out there and uh, I know we don't really mention it much in here but um, our hope is that actually that tomorrow we'll be pushing uh, foxy swap. So we, uh, we've, we've been working pretty heavy behind the scenes to make sure we get all the bits and pieces to it. Yeah. That we want to, um, that we want to push that out, you know, prior to us doing our mint on the 18th. I think there've been, there've just been so many people that have asked, um, from a utility side of things, you know, if we can, can get, you know, Foxy Swap out there. Uh, the same thing actually for our auction. So that I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't want to commit to that being done before um, our our mint on the 18th of the Foxy Dens and Fox Dens. Keep calling them Foxy Dens, but um, but I think that that's one of our other priorities that we have on our plate as far as getting more utility from uh, Foxy Token out to the community. So Foxy Swap. If everything goes well, should be out tomorrow. Folks will get it, their hand to, to trying. I mean, if you want to try and, and trade NFTs or what have you, I mean, just to kind of see how the whole system works, uh, highly would recommend it. I know we'll be posting some instructions around using it um, just so that people are kind of familiar with what the different uh, buttons are, displays are, you know, if things are grayed out and all that fun stuff. But, um, but just to kind of go through it too from a fee side of things you know that's going to be done with our foxy token and um you know if you know someone that's interested in doing a swap and they don't have foxes you know you can either introduce them to foxes you can send them foxy tokens um you know wh whatever whatever folks really would would prefer to do um you know folks have asked us if we can make the fees you know foxy or solana um the challenge with doing that is that actually uh ends up putting the value on Foxy, um, you know, from a, a dollar's perspective, a U.S. perspective, even if it's based off of Solana on the devs, on our project's hands. Um, and we can't do that for, for just many different reasons. So we can't assign out a Solana slash Foxy value, uh, you know, di difference between them. Since we create the token, we can't really determine what the value is for. It has to be community driven. So, um, so in that case, we're just going to be using Foxy token for Foxy swap. I know some people had concerns that, you know, it could create a, a lot of demand for Foxy token and the price could go crazy and then make it unattainable for certain people. Um, I, I'm kind of, I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see if that happens. I don't believe that will only because of the total supply we have of foxes and the amount that are staked. I think the last I looked, we were 79 point something percent staked, which is almost 80 percent. Um, so each each and every day, there's a lot of foxy token that's being created into the ecosystem. So I don't think um, I don't think the prices will get super super crazy in the in the short term. Um, in the long term, who 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 knows? But uh, but I think it does provide you know a good 
a good opportunity for folks that are current Fox holders, um, you know, outside of just the dens to have, you know, future utility within the Solana space. Um, primarily from a security standpoint, I think it's a good practice, um, you know, to have a tool to do NFT swapping. I've seen too many people get scammed by using middlemen for um, different things, even reputable middlemen, you know, get involved in, in just really shady practices that happen out there. Um, I've been a, well, I, I was in the past, at least a RuneScape player. Um, you know, I think that kind of was like one of the OG ways of <laughs> learning how to not get scammed by getting scammed so many times. I mean, you kind of just see it every way, shape and form, at least in, in that particular game, um, which I don't, I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of other games that are out now that, that, you know, you get that similar kind of experience from, but, uh, I personally haven't really seen it that much in, in the games that I've been involved with recently. Uh, so I think it's just kind of one of those skills that I have, uh, acquired to, to not get scammed, um, over the many years, uh, from playing RuneScape. But I think that there still is, is a ton of opportunity in general. Um, in the NFT space, it doesn't matter if it's Solana, ETH, uh, Cardano, any any platform. I think you're always going to find uh, folks that are nefarious. Um, I know foxes have fell for it, unfortunately, even with the the guys from you know uh, other community to not do it. And you know, I think it's just going to provide value from a security standpoint um, for people to be able to swap NFTs, um, you know, safely. And uh, one thing that is worth mentioning is that uh, is that I, I believe on our first iteration of Foxy Swap, it's going to be one NFT for one NFT, and you can add Solana on either side. Um, in the future, we're we're working on making it so you can have multi NFTs on each side for a trade. So it doesn't necessarily have to be just a one for one swap that you're doing. Um, so I, I did want to mention that because. Um, Hopefully, as long as everything goes well tomorrow, we'll release it with a single swap on each side. Um, but then in the future, that will change um, to be able to add as many NFTs on one side or another that you want to. And I think that uh, I think that there will kind of be a bit more of a, of a game changer for our community. So I'm looking forward to that personally. And uh, before I jump into more treasure hunt chat... I never got you a 99, did you? Oh, no, I did. Okay, so Crypto Gear, uh, you're, a, you're an old school RuneScape player. Yeah, so um, so so I'll give you a, a little bit of background on me, and I'm not going to do too much because uh, this is recorded. So, yeah, I played RuneScape from 2006-ish, 2006-2005, something like that when it was like the better RuneScape, in my personal opinion, um, I played that until 20, 2011, I want to say about five years, put way too much time in it. Um, actually had gotten uh, quite a few 99 skills. Uh, the one that I was most proud about was Slayer. Um, but yeah, I, I've invested uh, quite a bit of time on that and, um, had gotten, you know, quite far within it, quite deep. I had a pretty solid community with it. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't mind. Maybe I'll start up a, a spaces sometime. Maybe we'll talk about it in treasure hunt spaces later this week because I don't want to take up too much time here. But um, but yeah, I played for for quite some time. Uh, that was it was funny because there was a spaces earlier where people were talking about the fact that RuneScape was was you know to them almost like a, a gateway into NFTs because um, they were talking about like the fact that you could buy you know, coins with money, like real money, uh, you know, on a shady market, I'll call it. And then you can, you know, basically buy a, a different item or whatever you wanted. And I think at the time they were talking that blue party hats were like $8,000. I don't know. Cause I personally had one and had sold it. Um, I don't remember the dollar value for it, but it certainly wasn't 8,000. I don't know if I've ever seen it up to 8,000 US, but, but that's kind of the same idea within NFTs, right? You're, you're buying an item or something like that. That's uh, you know, has some sort of value for you and you're paying money for it. So it's, it's uh, it was very interesting to listen to that in a different spaces earlier tonight. But, um, but yeah, I, I've, uh, I've been in, in RuneScape for quite some time. So we'll have to chat about it different, uh, a different time. 
<laughs> yeah, you know I can grind hard. Yeah, drop parties were hilarious. Yeah, I mean, you know, just for other folks that aren't familiar with RuneScape, um, their uh, experience system was exponential. And in order for you to get, you know, even I think 99 cooking, it still would take you a solid chunk of time. Um, let alone like money. I think that probably was the cheapest or, or quickest 99 to get um, in general, but that has nothing to do with our voice, voice chat. That's just me taking up five minutes talking about RuneScape. But uh, yeah, so I don't see anything else in general chat. Let me just see if anything's in alpha. Now we did, we've done pretty good in alpha chat this week. I don't know how many folks are, are foxes, um, you know, in, in the alpha chat side of things. I think a couple of the uh, mints we were able to get into kind of as a group. I want to say I think Tiki, Turn Tiki was one of them. That that turned out to be um, a, a fairly solid mint for folks to get in to kind of be a little bit lucrative with. Uh, not that I really want to highlight those, but I think it's I think it's just important for other folks that are kind of in the space to kind of see um, the one benefit that I've seen at least from our alpha side of things is is the amount of knowledge that exists for people looking at everything. Um, I, I think it's very challenging in the space because there's so many projects that come out every day. I personally get DMs, probably 10 projects at a minimum every single day looking to collab with Foxes. Um, 10 out of 10 are pre-mints for the most part. Um, so I know we talked about it before, but I don't usually go for those. And it's just very difficult to, to you know, do research on every project, you know, run a project and all that fun stuff. So I, I really appreciate um, you know, our alpha chat, I think a lot of folks in there do quite a good job as far as um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of folks do quite a good job as far as like researching certain projects. Obviously, there's a lot of degenning that happens in there. Um, so it goes without say that nothing's financial advice on our Discord at all. Uh, only invest what you can lose, um, to say the least. But, uh, but, but, I mean, this week has been, I, I would say, probably one of the better weeks that I've at least paid attention to alpha. And I've, uh, I've done done pretty well with that. Yeah, <laughs> we are DGENs. Yeah, we, we're definitely DGENs. I think anyone that's really in the NFT space right now, my personal opinion, is kind of on the DGEN side of things. Uh, and I would challenge you if you disagree. Um, <laughs> you're here for the treasure hunt clue treasure hunt chat yeah so that's that's gonna be the next thing i wanted to I wanted to chat about our treasure hunt uh so we went out with our our uh, i'll call it a lore post but we put that out as a general announcement um we were debating about doing it as an event or in a general announcement but i think um, for something bigger like this uh that was you know took a, a, a bit of time to uh, you know, develop and, and push out there, and we had solid prizes for it. Still have, um, you know, the the foxy that we're planning on giving out via raffle. Um, we put out the the initial lore, so I believe everyone's at least been able to figure out how to start the the treasure hunt. Um, if you're not, the things that I would say is pay attention to, to the last line in um, in that whole write up that's in there in our. In our announcement section, it kind of gives you an idea, but the way to get to the start of the treasure hunt is on our website. So I'll say, go to our website, kind of use that information that's posted um, to get an idea of where to start. And um, you do have to have a fox. It can be a TFF or uh, an FFF. And I had my screen up. Let me see here. Uh, not that one. There we go. I do have um, I do have all the puzzles in front of me, um, just to kind of give ideas. So I'm I'm kind of curious instead of me going through um, each individual one again because I would only plan on really giving out like small hints. I'm not going to give you everything, um, but if you wanna if you want a clue for any particular puzzle, just drop me which one you're on in uh, in Fox Chat, and I see that Dre requested so. I'll bring Dre up here, but then I'll see what you guys post in Fox Chat, and we'll uh, we'll talk about them. All Hello. right. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Going well. By yourself. <laughs> good, good. I definitely had a, a very fun time with my wife uh, this morning trying to uh, complete this treasure hunt. <laughs> um, actually, very. She's. And I wasn't that surprised. She's very helpful in, in getting uh, 
a lot of the clues done. I am stuck on seven. I I understand what all of the, the things mean. I've went to the appropriate sites, but no combination of numbers that I've put in <laughs> have worked <laughs> for clue seven. <laughs> so so uh, I'm glad to hear that. Clue seven, clue seven is actually obviously an original that I created. Um, okay. so I'm, happy to, I'm happy to hear that. So, <laughs> so uh, instead of me giving you an answer, yep. uh, I guess if, if you want to give me a little bit of your logic. And sure. Then, and then sure. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you where you may, may be going wrong. Okay. So I understand what the circles mean, and I understand what the squares mean. Okay. I understand what the individual icons are. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have the, the uh, I'm assuming that the slash is a trick to, <laughs> it doesn't mean division or anything. It just means, in my head, the combination of those two items That's correct. will yep. yield you a certain amount of foxes. Mm -hmm. So I have the number of foxes for all six of those mm -hmm. but when i put in that series of numbers <laughs> in the field i'm getting the wrong answer and i feel like i've tried to do like every combination of it so i feel like there's either something i'm like way off on or um, dm dm me real quick on, on okay. discord dm me the six digit code i'm assuming you're putting in there yes yes and and i'll i'll see where <laughs> i'll see at least what wrong what number is wrong <laughs> Uh, uh, let's see, let's <laughs> see. But uh, for alpha, for other people, yes, it is a six-digit number you're looking for. for I'll, I'll do it a step further. I, I, I'm taking a screenshot of... Uh, <laughs> so I thought I was going crazy. I, I DM'd it to you. Ah, uh, okay. You've gotten one of... Let me just double-check this real quick. And I and I know it's a little challenging uh, for this one. I'm actually I'm quite glad uh, that you're kind of stuck here. One of one of them one of them the the traits you're looking at you're actually looking at the wrong trait for one of them. Mm. Yeah. So I would look a, look a little bit closer at the design on like the specific um, icons for the traits there, and uh, just double check it with the pictures that you're searching for or the foxes that you're searching for. Um, one of them is wrong and I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's not your zero. So that one. Okay. Is, yeah. That I, one is I figured zero. that one, that, that one I knew. Uh, yeah. Okay. That, that one's pretty, that one is pretty straightforward, but yeah, one of the other ones you have there uh, is wrong. All right. All right. I'll figure it out. All right. <laughs> but thank don't, you. Thank don't. you. This, this has been, uh, this has been a lot of fun to, uh, to do this and obviously I've, I've had a really good time this is my first uh, solana project um previously came from east so this has been like a, a really great first one to kind of come into it's been really fun uh, yeah. engaging with all the people so yeah just want to say thank you as well uh yeah and i guess i gotta to pay closer attention to these icons <laughs> no i appreciate that <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're having fun with this that that really was my intention i don't want people anyone i don't want anyone losing their minds um <laughs> you know i think i think the next one may or may not have people losing their minds because i'm okay i'm getting some people uh, aka brink interested in, in helping me develop the next <laughs> one so yeah, yeah. Brink, brink can't brink can't be a part of the next one he, he can't brink, uh... brink's gonna be <laughs> developing the next one with me and uh, it, it may or may not be a multi-day or week-long event. We haven't okay. figured that out yet, but uh, this was kind of an introduction into trying to make you know a fun community activity uh, in general. And I, I think that a lot of people um, have been having a lot of fun with it. So yeah, that makes me yeah. excited. Yeah, a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. Anyone else? I don't see... Uh, be cool to burn some foxy to get into other projects waitlist yeah uh costs are um i know you're in here as well that was that was a, a thought that we had had too um as far as doing some form of um collabing with another project again it, it's tough because the waitlist side of things obviously is for um a prement on on something unless it's a waitlist for a project that already exists that's coming out with, you know, like a, a Gen 2 or, or something that's kind of a tertiary. Um, you know, I'll, I'll say that, you know, there, there's nothing that we would never kind of consider as an option for us in general. So, um, you know, if there's 
any projects out there that people are looking at that, you know, have a solid community or something like that. And they're working on trying to, you know, build in a whitelist for something, or if there's some kind of way we can integrate, you know, Foxy into, uh, you know, like a collaboration type effort, definitely down for, for that. Um, for sure. We want to try and maximize the utility side of things for our token. Uh, so we don't want to kind of take anything off the table. Um, so I think that's uh, I think that's a, a great a great question. I mean, really a great point. So uh, you know, I'll add that in here as a as a thought. <laughs> a year long treasure hunt that would be pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, yeah, a year long treasure hunt would be would be pretty intense. Uh, let me just see if anyone's posting an alpha. How do I start the treasure hunt? Figure it out. What's <laughs> what's clue one? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, chef. Um, I don't know if chef's in here. I don't see chef in here, but, uh, but yeah, so, so, uh, clue one is a cipher. It's a specific kind of cipher. Uh, I think if you Google cipher and the, uh, rotating letters, I think you'll be able to find something. And I believe there's tools out there that you probably could just keep trying different combinations to ultimately find the right one. Uh, that's what I will give you as far as alpha for number one. Uh, no clue. I'm too lazy to figure this stuff out. Uh, it's funny. All right, let me get you up here, Silver. All right, welcome aboard. What a... What's hey, Drax, on? question. Um, is the... Uh, I'm, like, away from my computer, so I can't uh -huh. do the treasure hunt today. Mm -hmm. But is it is it done? Or is it still going? Yeah, so so Dre actually just asked that question. Um, I yeah. have to defer to Foxy Dev. He's the one that keeps track of. He, he's the one. He's the brains behind the operation. Um, he's the one that that has the information as far as how many folks have completed it. Uh, I know that at least the top three prizes have been claimed. Those okay. went out with the gotcha. announcements, but uh -huh. um, but we are doing a raffle uh, for five people. Um, from the points of four to 20. So there's 17 slots in there and uh, five of those 17. So about a third of them, give or take, uh, we'll get some Foxy tokens. Um, so if you, uh, I, again, I don't know if we've reached 20 yet, so I will apologize if anyone <laughs> beats their brain for another two hours to try and get there. Um, and, and, and that's closed, but I have to, I have to double check with Foxy dev when he gets on, he should actually be on, I'll say within the next hour or so, um, maybe hour or two hours, uh, I would I would just ping him and just see if we have 20. And, and if not, I'll have him. Um, if we have reached 20, I'll have him put an announcement out. Or if not, when we reach 20, we'll put an announcement out when 20 um, is hit for the treasure hunt. Got it. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, good luck. Uh, good luck if you jump into it. Have you started it at all? Are you sitting even away from your computer all day? No, I'm away from my computer. It's just, it's, uh, I'm too hungover, too. I'll be honest. <laughs> no, that, that's, uh, I mean, you probably had a pretty good time. So I don't know if it's worth the Foxy token for you. But, uh, but, but yeah, I mean, even if, even if you haven't completed it, if you're interested in just having some fun on a different day, we'll still keep it up. We won't take it, it down for speaking, folks that are. Yeah. And then speaking of Foxy token, um, yep. Do you can you see who has like what the um, I guess what the what people have gotten so like far? Like the distribution like, of it? Yeah, exactly. Um, again, that would require Foxy Dev. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'd have to check with him to see if uh, if there's an easy way to do it. I believe there's an easy way to check what's been claimed. But I'm not 100 sure from the earned side of things because I know uh, some folks are just letting it rack up, like myself included. Right. Uh, I've only yeah, I've too. only claimed a small percentage of it so far, um, and I'm just going to let it ride until uh, until the 17th, 18th comes out, and then I'll right. I'll start claiming my tokens. But um, but yeah, I'll, I'll ask Foxy Dev um, if he has a way of looking at it. I don't know if we'll post the stats, but. Um, but that will at least kind of give us a, an idea of uh, where we're kind of standing right now, now that we're, um, what are we, two weeks out? Two weeks right. out, I think, to the day uh, of, of doing our dens so. And And one last personal question. Sure. How the hell do you keep minting one of ones and like, the rarest <laughs> of things? All right. <laughs> Listen, this week, this week has been stupid. 
It's not this week. <laughs> he is. No <laughs> yeah, there. yeah, that's my <laughs> wife. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, like, I, I ha- I'll be honest with you. I've, I put a, um, like, a poster thing up on my wall. It actually isn't a poster. I actually got it like a decal thing that says the harder you work, the luckier you get. And that, that just kind of seems to be my thing. Um, you know, and, and, and I'll even, I'll even let, uh, who, who was mentioning, yeah, crypto gear. Um, I, I actually worked my way up to get a full party hat set. So crypto would have an idea of, of what the grind looks like, uh, to get up to that point. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, I, I don't know. I don't get it. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. I'll be honest with you. Um, me and six poker buddies had won, you know, a $50,000 lottery, uh, earlier in the year. So it's, it's, it's kind of just stupid how like certain things happen for me. Um, obviously I need Solana to go to a thousand dollars plus, um, because I'm overexposed and the devs need to do something, (laughs) but, but in general, um, yeah, there's just different things. This, this week has been nuts as far as the mint thing goes, because legitimately in, in the NSFW mint, I minted one thing and it was the button and that was just that, that has been so much fun, um, with that project. I mean, I, I really don't know too much about it, but it's been just so much fun on that side of things. Um, and I, I, I can't explain the minting this week, but, uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been kind of nuts. (laughs) Gway said hi, by the way. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wife's wife totally snitched me out. Totally snitched me out. <laughs> That's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you probably could put a picture of of the general on your wall, uh, or in in your wallet. Um, that really would be funny if someone like created a collection that was just you know a picture of the general, and the collection was like a thousand of them. They just give them out to people for good luck or something. That'd be that'd be kind of hilarious. Sounds like something that I probably should do. Did you guys see the uh, the other one, the uh, minting bomb? So like you can send like the I, the I saw that yeah the spinning wheel the entire time to someone hilarious like, just to fuck with <laughs> hilarious I I love it um let me see there was there was like like the OG way of doing that right was for um sending uh that that waiting icon via text uh that 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 would show that like someone's typing I right right doing yeah. that for people yes. um. You know, I, I I find it hilarious. Or websites that just have that for no reason. It's actually funny because like some things that I work on developing for my normie job, if you don't do it properly, you'll just end up on a loading page that just doesn't load. <laughs> so like, uh, you know, th- those things I find it very fun. I you know, it's uh, it's entertaining to me when people like get real pissed off that you know something's loading slow or whatnot, and then they realize that that's the actual nft and someone just bombs them on it but uh but yeah i thought i thought that was pretty clever uh, from like a marketing ploy on them uh let's see here we very few in the vc today yeah i think i think from the vc side of things i think people just enjoy the fact that we record them um so i think that might that might reduce plus i know the timing side of things for me uh you know it's seven o'clock at night so it's just based off of what i can do like in that day um, at least recently with like holidays and stuff, the, the mornings tend to be running around and grocery shopping and whatever else we have to kind of do in the morning. So that way I can have a little bit of time later on to be able to spend with everyone here. And, uh, yeah, let's see here. <laughs> General Fox airdrop. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really see too many other questions in here is i mean uh i don't want to cut us too terribly short i know we're still like 15 minutes out i don't know if there's any other questions that folks have on um on voice chat as well Uh, let's see here i don't see too much going on as far as chat goes in alpha as well uh you minting anything this week um you know what that's a great question i I'll be honest with you, I, I, a lot of things that I've minted recently have been more so things that folks have showed me, only because I've kind of had my head down trying to, to grind out a few things, including the treasure hunt. Um, so nothing necessarily has caught my eye. The one thing that I bought recently that I'm, I'm interested to see how they do is the Soluminati. I'm kind of, I, I like the tool side of things. I like the utility side of things with, with NFTs. And um, 
that's one where I mean I, I got in at a little bit more of an expensive price. It's it's grown since then, but um, but I think that uh, that has some promise to it. The uh, the UI on it looks kind of fun, and I know they're working on improving it as well. So that's one that I'm interested in. Um, as far as new projects goes, I, I might get a little bit into doggos tomorrow. I'm not a hundred percent, uh, decided on that quite yet. And I think that for the most part are, are the two that I've, uh, recently like looked at and kind of jumped into. I know as far as our men's go in the alpha side of things, I believe uh, the Brioku lizards were one of the better ones that we did this week with. Um, and the Tiki's, I think were probably two of the, the better, at least that I had gotten involved with. Um, so yeah, so, I mean, I, I would just, I would just keep an eye out in, in alpha. Um, you know, I'll certainly let people know whatever I am minting, if I'm able to, to kind of throw that out there too. Um, nah, I don't want to mint what you meant because you're going to get the one of one, <laughs> the rare ones, and we'll be stuck with all the commons. <laughs> yeah i mean but even still i mean the commons on on some of these projects you know aren't, aren't terribly terribly bad so uh you know it kind of just depends i mean you know certain projects i think portals portals is a really good one as well to get into but i believe that was last week sometime um and uh but yeah but yeah i mean i'll still let also other people know if, in case they're interested in getting in <laughs> not necessarily just you silver but uh but yeah, I mean, I'll kind of, I'll kind of say, keep an eye out. Hopefully, uh, tomorrow we'll be pushing out our Foxy Dens for everyone, or not Foxy Dens. <laughs> Two weeks from now, Foxy Dens. Tomorrow's Foxy Swaps. Don't, uh, don't take my word on that one. But um, yeah, Infused. I'm not sure if you're in here. I don't think Infused is in here, but we'll message them on uh, on discord for getting started on the treasure hunt. But no, I certainly appreciate the time everyone takes out, uh, you know, their week to be able to kind of join us on spaces and uh, we'll be posting this. Uh, I'm not sure if Frank will put it up tonight or tomorrow, um, but, but sometime within the next, I'll say 24 ish hours, um, we'll get it up. And uh, again, I, I know, Frank will keep hounding me about it. I know I have to do something with, uh, with YouTube, with getting us set up on there. So that way you can have kind of more of a central location to post our voice chats because I think people would be interested in that, you know, if for nothing else, just kind of a centralized place for us to be able to put, you know, that kind of content or if there's anything else relevant that we can kind of throw up in our YouTube channel would be kind of cool for uh, for the space in general. So I'll leave it at that. The, uh, you know, the only things that I would say is, you know, just be careful out there in general with minting different things. Make sure you always use a, a burner wallet. Um, never accept Dev Solana and DevNet. For any of your NFTs, um, I, I think I'm going to try and hound Misty into creating a little bit of a write-up um, on the DevNet side of things. I've seen that being popular recently, and I just don't want people, um, you know, falling for that kind of thing. DevNet, you know, basically you can get as much Solana on that as you want for free. Um, it's just for testing out mints or or different transaction utility that you're doing on the Solana space. So anyone that sends you Solana via DevNet. Um, again, it's free. Uh, don't send them NFTs. Uh, it's not real money. It might look it uh, on the DevNet side of things. You can't withdraw it or anything like that. So just be careful. Um, and if you see anyone out there that's like, hey, someone's sending me 200 Solana on DevNet for a fox or something, <laughs> just tell them don't don't accept it. You know, you can give them a little bit of guidance to it and kind of go from there. But Oh, and a, on top of that, uh, if it's a free mint, open up multiple tabs, like the Wastelander ones mm. on Friday. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's a great point. Uh, that's what I always do for a mint that I'm planning on buying multiple into. You have multiple tabs open. I even recommend making it multiple windows. That way you can just bop between windows a bit easier because with tabs, you actually have to go up and click another thing. With multiple windows, you can just have you know the, the window shrunk um, with just the mint button and you just go and click on, you know, 15 different 16 different mint buttons to have them all launch you know at a relatively quick pace um so yeah it just depends on the mint how deep you're going how degen you want to be uh highly recommend that as a strategy for getting into something pretty heavy that seems like it's popular and with that i will cut everyone loose give you guys back eight minutes of your life and uh look forward to, to chatting with you guys next week and throughout this week so take care